He served the country, and now he fears he's going to be tossed out on the streets. A local war vet in a legal battle tonight to save his own home. He tried to refinance, but he ended up in hot water. Steve Gelbach with this story you'll see only on Fox. Monty Schulte and his wife Teresa moved into their Ocala home almost 10 years ago. They fixed it up and planned to retire here. It is tough not knowing from one day to the next whether or not you're going to have a roof over your head. The couple is fighting their mortgage company after refinancing. They wanted lower payments, cash out to pay some medical bills, and a little breathing room. It was supposed to be $814 That's what they promised a month. You. That's what they promised me. But the monthly payment actually went up, and they just tacked on more for unwanted flood insurance. He now owes more than $2,100 a month. And my payment will be $2,111.07. And I'm not in a flood zone. The disabled Vietnam veteran lives on a fixed income from VA and Social Security benefits and can't pay the bill. They will promise you everything and give you nothing. No lower payment, no lower interest rate, and more than $20,000 in closing costs. His attorney, Matt Inglet of KEL in Orlando, calls it a classic case of predatory lending. Lenders are not supposed to do uh, mortgages on homes, unless it, especially refinances, unless it somehow benefits the borrower. This loan uh, didn't benefit the borrower at all. He's suing the mortgage company out of California to get the loan rescinded. Schulte hopes to get the deal he was originally promised and hopes they can stay in the house. In Ocala, Steve Gelbach, Fox 35 News. Now, that attorney we spoke with says this is really a good warning for anyone thinking about refinancing. If you're offered a deal that seems too good to be true, think twice. If you get to the closing and it's just not what you were promised, you should absolutely walk away and not sign anything.